profoundly affects how you perform at work. And how do you feel when you're at your best? Now, this is from a survey around the world. When you're at your best, you're energized but calm. Isn't that a nice combination? Energized but calm, you're enthusiastic, confident, optimistic, and passionate. Now, do you want to go in and work with a green platform staff who are energized but calm, enthusiastic, confident, optimistic, and passionate? Or do you want to work with a red platform staff? It's an entirely different world to live in. And when I ask people, you know, what's your two biggest problems? It's stress and fatigue. They're the two big ones, stress and fatigue. And we can create another world where we don't have these things. Now, is there a way that we can change our brain, change the inner landscape of the brain to be positive? Again, Professor Sean Archer, Harvard, do five things for 21 days and you will actually change the inner landscape of your brain because of the brain's plasticity. We know now that the brain isn't set. We can, it can change. So for 21 days, you say, what are three things you're grateful for? Just very simply because this is about the lens of the brain. The lens of the brain is scanning every night. The usual scan it does is the 9 o'clock news. And what's that? Is it the 9 o'clock positivity or could you call it 9 o'clock negativity? I remember saying to the editor of a newspaper one, why are all your stories so negative? And he said, look son, if it bleeds, it leads. So it's to switch that into three things you're grateful for because gratitude and negativity cannot coexist. Second is a journal and you write down one positive thing. Now, once, you, if once your brain starts, is activated, you cannot come up instantly with one positive thing. You think about 10 positive things and then you pick the one. I might end up with Alexander's smile. Then exercise, 20 minutes to a half an hour every day, and then meditation. Because the study, Harvard study said most Americans are living what they called cultural ADHD. Shallow breathing. <laughs> but to breathe deeply, breathe slowly and follow the breath. Push your tummy out like a baby. Any thought, gently put it aside. Any feeling, gently put it and back to the breath. Focus on the breath and breathe it deeply. Breathe slowly and follow the breath. And calm the mind. Just let all that nonsense, just let it flow through. Don't fight it. Put it aside and back to the breath. And five minutes of that is the equivalent of about two hours sleep in terms of renewal. And then an act of kindness, because when they put all the electrodes and measure people, the person who received the act of kindness got a rush of all the positive happy chemicals, like the dopamine, the good endorphins, and the serotonin. And uh, same thing happened to the person doing the act of kindness when they uh, wired them up. But even somebody observing an act of kindness had a similar response. So do that for 21 days, and you're going to have a totally different you rewire your brain.